The hinge is mounted, it's on a frame with the mirrors attached. Um, we have it running through a charge controller which tells us our wattage. Uh, power match which gives us our power statistics. It's charging the battery and supplying a load. About 70.3 watts which is pretty good for this time of day. And it's uh, more than enough to have our boat running at 51% solar efficiency. So the boat hole is in the water. It's unladen at the moment, but as you can see, it's drafting about a quarter of an inch. And the spray rear is attached. Uh, there's no water intrusion at this point. As you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of force to make it move really nicely because it's a very efficient design. So this is our two axis gimbal setup. We have down, up, side, side, and all combinations of everything in between. And it self center is really cool. Our build from isn't in yet, so we're using a water hose for simulation. Shipping is messed up. Uh, I have managed to program the transmitter in such a way that it could control every system on our boat. And I have gone through and recorded and labeled what each channel is going to do. Our soil sampler here. And we were having a problem initially with running the soil sample reel while the catch was pushed in which is really easy to do, but it's on two separate channels. So I found a way to use one channel to run both the release catch here and run the motor. In the zero position, that drops. That would drop the line if there was weight on it. So if you pull on the reel, see it spools out real nice. And then when you go to the number two position, that would reel it back up. There's gonna be a micro switch mounted right here. It's gonna hit the micro switch, give current to the motor, be out, Neutral in. That way there's not a position where the motor is trying to reel up the reel while the um, release is engaged, which is bad for the reel and it was too easy to do before. Okay, so here's the throttle. Um, you push it forward. Motor spins forward. You push it back with the, you have to go back twice. It runs backwards. Backwards. It's pretty nice. We controller and our brushless motor. It's all going to be liquid cooled, water is going to run through the speed controller, then around this cooling jacket on the motor. Um, the third system is motor steering left and right. So this stick will do your motor throttle, and this stick will do your steering left and right. So it's pretty simple, left, right. So that servo is going to be mounted somewhere in the boat right about here with a link going to the motor. And I'm going to mess with the travel pump spray rig assembly. Um, that's really simple. I use a channel that only has two positions. The gear switch right here. Um, o is on, one is off, as from the cheat sheet. So in this position, the, the speed controller right here is getting power from a voltage step down, which is getting power from our battery, which is 14.8 volts. These speed controllers, the best ones I could get, can only handle a little under 12 volts. So in order to protect them, we have to use voltage step downs. And it's running to this bilge pump, which is going to be mounted in the bottom of our tank and will um, pump the fluid. You just throw the switch, and you can hear the bilge pump running. You can see the fan in there spinning. It goes um, left and right, up and down. This knob is variable, so we can fine tune our up and down portion of the camera because you don't have as much field of view up and down. The GoPro has hugely wide field of view left and right. Control, there's right, there's left. So you'd put it this way to look at the GPS screen, you put it centered to look at the spray rig, and you put it to the right to view your fishing rod, which is gonna be mounted farther forward with the rod holder. The hole's gonna be drilled here. So the camera will be able to view all the three major systems on the front of the boat that require active monitoring. The flare system, um, this is delightfully simple. It just involves a speed controller with the outputs of the speed controller um, hooked to each end of a very thin nickel chromium nichrome um, wire. That wire is then wrapped around, you can see right there, wrapped around the wick of the flare. On It'll give that speed controller full current and the wire will glow when it's wrapped around the wick, ignites the wick, shoots off the rocket. You let go of the stick, returns to center. GPS sonar system um, did come in lovely and it's going to be mounted roughly right here so it's easier into the GoPro. The transponder will be mounted back here at the corner of the boat as far from the motor as possible from what I've read. It's like a uh, take the sonar image and actually do some conversion on it and we'll be able to see exactly what's on the bottom. So the top right there would be just your regular sonar view and then when the down imaging, uh, the bottom image, 
will be a lot more useful. Just to run through where everything's gonna get power from, um, right now it's all getting power directly from the battery, but that's gonna be hooked up to the battery port on our charge controller. Solar panels gonna be hooked up here. And this is gonna be responsible for powering every single system on the boat. Like those connectors, they're very high flow and very reliable. So every individual speed controller is gonna be plugged into those. The servos will get power directly from the receiver, but every speed controller is gonna get power from this. Um, it's a power meter and balancer, and it'll tell, it tells us um, our uh, instantaneous current, our instantaneous wattage, and a total. So we'll know exactly how many amps flowed through that device.